Hello and welcome to today's video. I've got here a self build which I want to show you. Uh, so I'm uh, here in this street. This is somebody I met yesterday and uh, she's given me permission to film her vehicle. So I'll show you where I am um, once uh, the video is over. This, as you can see, it's the short Peugeot Boxer. It's it got uh, doors on both sides, so it's 540 centimeters in length. And we're going to have uh, a quick look around. So this is having a quick look, start off with, from the back. This is a, uh, I'm sure it's right to say, an amateur conversion. Uh, this was uh, done uh, during COVID times. Somebody a um, bit younger than I am, but not a lot, and uh, she'd wanted to have a van and so to go off in sort of semi-retirement uh, or whilst doing a little bit of work from the van at the same time so this is what she's done so uh, in the comment section please be polite uh, there's one or two things I would have done differently but that is not the point I've had a lot of experience in looking at vans indeed uh, just about every viewer here will have had more experience probably because you've been watching van life programs so as you can see we've got this enormous area here for uh, living in so we've got that the seats are in fact here uh, as you get with many vans we've got storage under here under under the here we've got the battery is down there with the battery charger and uh, uh, fridge is uh, up over here this is the uh, so we open this up to get into the fridge there's the fridge down there uh, then sink there uh, storage below and uh, toilet uh, there and uh, so under here we've got the the water there's a bit of storage up there. Now, unfortunately, she didn't put it with the, the uh, revolving seats as, uh, as, as, for example, many of us probably would have done. So that would have given us a little bit more space. Uh, captain's chairs. Uh, double bed here at the back, lengthwise. She's about the same height as I am, at what, what, 1 meter 75. So, uh, I mean, I didn't spend the night here, but I'm, I'm presuming that's a, quite a, a comfortable way of doing things. But one thing I really, really like here is this. This, I think, is really good. Well, to come when it comes out now, oh, it's a bit tough. This is the table, and the table comes out a really long way. So you've got a magnificent, huge table like that, where she's working from. Now, isn't that a good idea? Obviously, it's just gonna work at a place where you've got a uh, sort of a free area, which is like this, And but for those, who don't use their tables very often uh, I think that's a superb thing I mean I I must have an enormous table in my van because of the way uh, I am uh, you know sort of work from the van and leave everything out so I can put the table back in again and so up there we've got a bit more storage above uh, obviously, it would be good with some of these kippo things here, which would hold everything in place. A kippo thing is it's it's a net uh, which holds things in place on on uh, not either against walls or could instead of putting a, um, a a lid a cover on the uh, the st overhead storage. So, oh, also we've got what over there I noticed and it was earlier, there is a one of these barometer things, <laughs> which I meant to get for my van. And mind you, you can always open the window and find out how hot it is. Uh, and we've got up there a uh, skylight. And of course, there's storage under there. Uh, so the um, the water tank possibly could be a bit bigger, but uh, it hasn't, but, uh, okay you live and learn for things like this heating the, sorry the cooker is there it uses one of these replaceable gas things now the point of doing a replaceable and a self-build in germany is because in germany there are gas uh, examinations uh, and uh, there are it's quite tight on the law how we can have gas in the camping van 
camper van, sorry. So uh, that's why using something like that, which has got the certification. Uh, in Germany, it's very easy to buy the gas uh, cylinders to go in there. This one here costs 12 water, which I, I believe in Germany, it's about one euro 20 or something like that. As I speak, maybe it's one euro 50, but it's less than 12 water, uh, which is about two euros 40, something like that at present. Uh, right, good. So that is the that's the van here. So you can write down what you think of it uh, in the comments below. But now what I'm going to do is I'll just show you see where we are parked. Oh, you can also see here you've got the uh, door on this side as well. Uh, but yeah, if it's open. You see, it doesn't really get in the way. In fact, you could even use it as a door to get in and out if you wanted to. So. And I think the window here has been been done very well. Although that might have come with the van like that. So this is where I'm at. Uh, I'm right down there. It's a very nice Heimer um, a bit, uh, as well. And this is the view we've got. This is Gdansk. This is the center of uh, Gdansk. Uh, more or less, in fact. That's just maybe some, not fair. It's the, the the bang in the center. It's not the Trafalgar Square of Gdansk, but. Uh, this is the the Motuava, the river that runs through it. Uh, we've got uh, part, the port, uh, pleasure port, the marina. Part one of them, because there's the, there's a couple, but it is there. If you want to go to the sea, you follow this all the way around. It's about five kilometres or so from here, and uh, there uh, you can see a boat now going up, up upstream. Uh, we've got that that funny building. There's that's the Second World War Museum. And here we've got to get to the, the, the very center. There's a swing bridge which is up there right now. You go through there and there you can see the, uh, the cathedral uh, of Gdansk. Uh, and then we've got that, that big wheel. So if you want to go at the wheel, it's 200 meters from here. Uh, so that gives you an idea. This is the best place in Gdansk in my opinion uh, to park in for if you've got a motorhome it's currently free although we don't know how much longer that that's going to last i told somebody about this place uh just before i came here i said well it's free but um it was free last year but i don't think it'll be free much longer in fact, it's such it's such such a great location oh and there's another thing i failed to point out as well uh, you've got the uh down there you've got uh the showers and toilets and so you have to pay for them, uh, but I mean the shower thinks five's water, like you know, just just over a euro. I've, I can't complain at that, in my opinion. Good. So, uh, so that's uh, this um, home-built conversion for you. I hope you found that interesting. And if you did, then you uh, might want to subscribe. And if you didn't, then you then you certainly won't. And uh, it's difficult actually to find these uh, conversions to uh, for people to uh, to. Uh, not everybody wants to have somebody filming inside their van. I mean, I, uh, if somebody came out now and asked me, I said, "Look, come back in an hour, and let me clean it up a bit." But um, I mean, I suppose I do allow because of what I do. But many people don't. Indeed, I met a couple here uh, in this very very same spot uh, last uh, a few days ago. And uh, I asked them, and they said they didn't really want to because they did it once before. Somebody else filmed it, and then they got all nasty comments below. And you get these spiteful comments. And now, if anybody says something spiteful, uh, um, I would actually remove the comment. But then again, I, I can't be on top of everything. Uh, to, uh, if anybody says anything spiteful against me, I just leave it. But say spiteful against the named person, then I take it. I take it out. So uh, that's 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 one of the things. Always sort of think of that when you're making comments, uh, if possible. So thanks very much again, and all the best from me in Gdansk, Poland.